Hello, John Talley here with PartZilla.com. Today I'm going to show you how to change out the brake pads on our 2005 Honda VTX 1800. Really simple procedure. Starts by just lifting up the machine. Going to go ahead and collapse those uh, calipers where we can get the new pads in. Then reinstall the pin. So let me get this thing lifted up and I'll show you how to get it done. All right, guys, let's go through some of the tools that we're going to need to get this done. It's a pretty short list. Just want to get a decent pair of pliers, a pick tool, a good 3 8 ratchet, a 5 millimeter Allen, a pretty good sized uh, flat blade screwdriver, and then a torque wrench. Start, let's go ahead and get the, uh, the calipers, the piston in there, compressed. And I just use a big screwdriver, put it in between the pads and the, uh, the rotor, and just kind of twist it. And it'll slide it back in. Next, let's get out this little pin cap. All right, hidden behind that cap is a five millimeter Allen, which is actually a pin that goes all the way through the brake pads. Actually goes through the brake pads through that hole right here. With those out, all we have to do is just slide the new ones in. Just make sure that this edge makes it up over that point there. So you want to kind of angle them up to get it to clear. And then there's just a little spring that you have to push against to get it to line up. Put your screwdriver back in there just to make sure that that uh, piston is pushed all the way back in the caliper. Yeah, that looks like it's got it. that pushed up. Go ahead and get, get it through the first pad. And bring up the second one. And send it through. All right, to finish it off, I'm going to set that to 13 foot-pounds. Next, just want to get our cap back on. All right, the last little bit you need to do is go ahead and uh, pump it up. Otherwise, you won't have any brakes for the first, I'd say, two or three strokes. Once you do that, you're good to go. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps it up. Um, what else could you really add to this? If I were you, I'd go ahead and uh, let's bleed off some of the brake fluid because I'm betting whatever you have in there is pretty old. So if you would, reference that video, and I'll show you how to get that done. Listen, if you need any of the parts that we used, come see us at partzilla.com, and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time, we just want to say thanks for watching.